All right, so we're on to face primers and eyeshadow primers. I actually forgot to bring one that I have in my makeup kit, which is from the Bare Minerals, and it's very similar to this one. The Bare, Bare Minerals one is newer, and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, so I'm gonna let go of this one, and I'm gonna keep the one that's newer, and I actually like the Bare Minerals one a little bit better. I'm also keeping the Make Makeup um, Diamond Heart Face Primer, which is also a face primer. The Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. Keeping that, I haven't opened any of these ones. And I also have a backup of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I've gotten, this is about halfway through. So I've got that one as well. I'm gonna get rid of this one because I just used this one up. This is in the My 10 Pan Project. It's from uh, Absolute New York is the brand. It's all it's all gone now, but this was a really good primer actually. I can definitely recommend it and it lasted forever. Like the tube, the product lasted forever. And it was very similar to the Urban Decay Primer Potion, I would say. Very similar. But it's all gone now. Then I have the Art Deco eyeshadow base, which I haven't opened either. Keeping that one, and this one I got for Christmas, which is the MAC Painterly paint pot. So I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, plus seven uh, with the Bare Minerals one. So I had three fit face primers last year, and now I have two. And then I had four eyeshadow primers last year, and now I have five. All right, foundations. I I do have three samples of from Bare Minerals, but I'm not including those. But these are the foundations I have. I'm keeping this Pro Cosmetics foundation, powder foundation palette. Um, I'm not going to keep this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation because it's just too dark. It's in soft beige. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm keeping this Ingla AMC Cream Foundation because it's my favorite one. and I. It's in LW200. It's just a little bit left, so I'll probably include this in like a 10 pan project soon or or something like that. This is my newest edition. This is a little bit too light, but I'm still going to try to see what I can do with this one. Um, and I've only tried it like two or three times, so I'm going to have to play with it and and see, but I'm not loving it right now, so, but I'm still going to keep it. Uh, this is the Elf Moisturizing Foundation Stick in Honey. I originally bought this to contour, but it's just not the right contour color. It's just, it's, it doesn't suit my skin tone, so I think I'm just going to get rid of this one as well, but it, it's a really good foundation actually. It's really smooth and it looks nice and glowy um, on my dry skin, but it just doesn't fit. So I'm going to get rid of that one as well. So I'm counting, I'm counting this one as one foundation, which makes it three foundations. Last year I had eight, so that's an improvement, I think. Then we're on to concealers. Um, I've got the Estee Double Wear and Warm light medium. This is actually a little bit dark, so I use it as a correcting concealer, and it works great for that. So I'm keeping it. Um, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in Light. This is awesome, like a multi-purpose concealer, and I just purchased this. Or it's pretty new, so I'm gonna keep it. This is the Isadora Treat and Cover Concealer Stick in Ivory. And this is, believe it or not, it's just too light, actually. So I have never used it, really. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the Kix Concealer Flawless Cover in Porcelain. And this is actually um, pretty nice. It's a really light and nice um, concealer. And I'm almost out of this one, so I might might uh, put it in my tampon project next time. This is the Essence Cover Stick. This is pretty new actually, but I used it a ton this fall. 
and I would definitely keep it. It was really good. I even used it under my eyes and it worked for that and it's in matte ivory. Then I got these Inglot Freedom System pans. One is in LW100 and the other one is in Peach, which is our P, which is a graphing concealer and it's my favorite graphing concealer of all time. It's so good. And this one's really good as well. So I, I would say that these are my favorite concealers. Um, so I'm keeping those. And then I have the Inglot AMC Cream Concealer in 64. And this is really similar to that one. But, uh, and I've used it a lot, but I've come to the conclusion that it is a little bit too light. And so I am gonna get rid of it. Then I got the Catrice Camouflage Cream um, in Ivory, and I haven't even opened this one. I can't wait to try it. But yeah, I'm keeping that one. So I have now seven concealers. I had 15 last year's. So I'm very satisfied with that number, actually.